Now, now let me discuss the another group of drugs which are used in the treatment of hypertension by causing vasodilatation that is nitric oxide releasers. that is nitric oxide releasers. Now what are the drugs in this nitric oxide releasers is we have sodium nitroprusside right we have the sodium nitroprusside and as well as the another drug which will cause nitric oxide release that is hydralazine. These drugs sodium nitroprusside and as well as hydralazine they will act right they will act by releasing nitric oxide right they will act by releasing the nitric oxide from the endothelium. Right they will act by releasing the nitric oxide from the endothelium. Now this particular nitric oxide which is being released from the endothelium in turn increases the cyclic GMP levels. Right? This nitric oxide will release the or will increase the intracellular cyclic GMP levels. Now how it will increase the intracellular cyclic GMP is by stimulating right nitric oxide will stimulate the guanidyl cyclase enzyme right will stimulate the guanidyl cyclase enzyme so once this particular guanidyl cyclase enzyme is being stimulated that will cause the release of increase in cyclic gmp now this particular cyclic GMP will cause will cause smooth muscle relaxation right it will cause the smooth muscle relaxation within the tunica media of blood vessel and that will cause vasodilatation and that will cause vasodilatation this is the mechanism of action of this particular nitric oxide releasers whereas you take this nitroprusside nitroprusside in addition can directly stimulate the guanidyl cyclase to cause the increase in cyclic gmp normally you take sodium nitroprusside and hydralazine what are they doing they are causing the release of nitric oxide for increasing the cyclic gmp levels whereas nitric oxide it can directly stimulate right it can directly stimulate the guanidyl cyclase to cause increase in the cyclic gmp all right now let me discuss few important points about sodium nitroprusside sodium nitroprusside remember it is a very short acting drug right it is a very short acting drug so that is the reason why it has to be administered by an IV infusion right that is the reason why it has to be administered via intravenous infusion for treatment of hypertensive emergencies right for treatment of hypertensive emergencies and another important point is its solution should be freshly prepared right its solution should be freshly prepared because it is unstable and sensitive to light it is unstable and sensitive to light so that is the reason why this particular sodium nitroprusside that has to be freshly prepared. Now 
what are the problems with the sodium nitroprusside whenever you administer this particular sodium nitroprusside for prolonged duration right sodium nitroprusside whenever it is administered for prolonged duration what will happen is that will result in accumulation of right that will result in accumulation of cyanide that will lead to toxicity particularly in patients with renal disease all right so on prolonged use of sodium nitroprusside that will cause the accumulation of cyanide particularly in renal disease patients right particularly in renal disease patients all right next the another important point is so on prolonged administration of this particular drug there will be cyanide toxicity there will be cyanide toxicity next the another important adverse effects with this particular sodium nitroprusside is hypothyroidism that is hypothyroidism now how it will cause hypothyroidism it can also result in hypothyroidism due to accumulation of thiocyanate within the thyroid gland right this is due to accumulation of thiocyanate right it will cause the accumulation of thiocyanate within the thyroid gland and that will lead to hypothyroidism and another important point is this particular sodium nitroprusside this is contraindicated in pregnancy all right this is contraindicated in pregnancy so this is about your nitric oxide releasers so nitric oxide releasers they include sodium nitroprusside and as well as hydralazine both of these drugs they will cause the release of nitric oxide from the endothelium this will stimulate the guanylyl cyclase enzyme and this will increase the cyclic gmp this increased cyclic gmp will cause smooth muscle relaxation of the tunica media within the blood vessel and thereby there is vasodilatation whereas you take sodium nitroprusside it can directly stimulate the guanylyl cyclase to increase the cyclic gmp levels the important points about sodium nitroprusside is it is a very short acting drug so that is the reason why it is given via intravenous infusion for the treatment of hypertensive emergencies and whenever you want to prepare the sodium nitroprusside that has to be freshly prepared why because it is unstable and it is also sensitive to light and whenever you use this particular sodium nitroprusside for prolonged duration that will cause the accumulation of cyanide and will lead to cyanide toxicity particularly in renal disease patients and this can also cause hypothyroidism because of accumulation of thiocyanate within the thyroid parenchyma and this nitroprusside sodium nitroprusside it is contraindicated in pregnancy